Hello, it's Jerry Gill from GW Gill Plumbing and Heating with another little video on the Moat steam system, the original water seals. These were the return fittings from the radiators. Now, they are in their patent called a return fitting. They are water seals, yes, but they are in no way, shape, or form a steam trap. These are not a radiator trap. They will trap nothing. Now they came in a couple varieties. The round one, which we call the barrel, and an oval version. Now there appears to be no rhyme or reason as to when they would use one or over the other. You will find an oval Moat water seal on a large radiator, you'll find it on a little radiator. You will find the round water seal on a large radiator, you'll find it on a little radiator. The only thing they did seem to do was put the same ones throughout the whole house. The, the whole system would have the same ones, though in reality once you see the insides of these, that really doesn't matter either. So, let's take a look at them. Now, the oval, you can see the inside forms a P-trap. It'll hold a little water for a while, and there has to be water there for it to hold. And what I mean by that is, if you look closely, you'll see right there, if I can get the picture, there it is, a drain hole. Okay, these things drain dry in between cycles. That was done so that they couldn't freeze. Um, say this thing was uh, in a garage. It, it couldn't freeze because it would drain dry. So when, when the steam first comes into the system, this thing is wide open. Talk about letting air out of a radiator. This thing's going to let the air right out of the radiator because there isn't even any water in here. There has to be steam condensing in the radiator to put water into this trap and it obviously would have to condense at a rate faster than the drain hole will let it drain out. Now this is about one inch now one, uh, one ounce of pressure will push a column of water one and three quarter inches so obviously even if you were condensing a reasonable quantity of water and had this trap filled up if you exerted more, you know, even one in, one ounce of steam at the end of the radiator, you're going to blow right through this water seal as if it wasn't even there. Uh, there is, while this thing is filling up with, with uh, condensate, see if I can get this to zoom in on it, right up here, right there there it is the air hole so there's a little bitty air vent hole that while this has water in it it would still let air pass through and go over the water seal and get out and then of course as, as the system shuts down the water would drain right back out the drain hole and so that's what the inside of the Moat oval water seal looks like and remember this was about one inch Still couldn't hold much more than a half an ounce of pressure against it. The round one, on the other hand, if you look at this baffle back here, there's something to point here, right there, here's your water. It only has to climb about a quarter inch to get to spill over this way. This thing couldn't hold back any pressure, basically. Um... And they're really not designed to. And there again is the drain hole. So this thing would be dry when the system first fires up. So it would vent air out of the radiator tremendously fast. And I think I may have cut almost right through it. There's the air hole. And so if this was full of water during cycle... During when a heat radiator is heating, some air will still squeak through that air hole and bypass the water seal and come out. But remember, a water this Moat water seal is not a steam trap. 
It will not trap steam. You should always be able to go up to a radiator one of these and put your hand on that water seal. If you can't hold your hand on that water seal, you have steam blowing through it. And in which case your radiator valve is open too far. Or you have the wrong valve on the radiator. Uh, remember Moat had a unique valve. And what was unique about it, actually I have some sitting here. What was unique about it was it would orifice and it would only let so much steam into the radiator. You didn't want the steam in the return line. <coughs> this, the best I ever heard of the description of a water seal is Edgar Wiley's patent from the simplex system where it was described that this, the water seal would handle wisps of steam that got to it. Um, and, and to prove the point that, that these things really basically did absolutely nothing, you will find, now you saw the inside of it, so it has to be sitting this way to hold any water, right? You will find these things sitting this way on a ceiling radiator. They were just using it as a union elbow, um, for all intents and purposes. And if you treat it as a union elbow, you'll, your system will work much better because you, you obviously wouldn't let steam get into the return line if you didn't have a return fitting. You would throttle it down at the inlet. The same thing with this. This really isn't going to stop any steam from getting into the return line. Um, so you have to control the steam at the entrance door, not the exit. And now, hopefully, you have a little bit better understanding of the Moat water seal. Just remember, it is not a steam trap. You will hear us call it Moat water seal trap. We're just so used to talking about radiator traps that the word trap just slips in there. But in reality, this is not a trap. Never was, never will be can't be. Okay, thank you very much.